Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday night. Hope everybody is having a great, relaxing, or fun-filled weekend, whatever is your preference. Tonight, I am sharing friend mail and holy ginormousness. This is the box of wax goodies that Sasha sent me. Oh my God. I've already, of course, ripped into it like an animal and smelled everything. Some things even two or three times maybe, I'm not gonna lie. I do not have scent descriptions. I am not going to be sniffing every single thing on here, on here, on YouTube that is in this box of goodies because we would be here for days, honestly. So it's gonna be a long video because like I said, this box is ginormous and it is filled to the top. I don't even know how she closed this because when I put the stuff back in, I'm not a very good packer. Um, it barely fit. It is just loaded, loaded, loaded with things. So get yourself, excuse me, snack or a drink. I have some soda, which I never drink, but I was craving, craving it today. Um, anyway, here I go. Um, Sasha seriously should be like a a personal shopper for wax for people because I know she doesn't have time for that, but there's so many things that I don't order because I'm scared I'm not going to like it or it doesn't sound like it's a scent for me. And even when I was looking through this box of stuff, um, reading some of the titles, I'm like, oh, wow, I don't know. And then I sniff it and I totally fall in love with it. So she did fantastic. Fantastic. Picking out wonderful friend wax to send me. And I am so, so, so grateful. Sasha, you did not have to do this. You are such an amazing person. Thank you so, so much for thinking of me. Um, this is just crazy. It really is. There's so much stuff in here. I am so so, so, so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the first thing, I'm not doing this in any kind of order. I didn't separate it out, anything. Like I said, I have no scent descriptions. Um, sorry, I just wanted to share the love of this awesome box of wax goodness. So the first thing that I pulled out is from Hayden Rowe, and it's one of the Lucky Ducks. And this is called Forbidden City. And I have never tried this. Sorry, I'm going to sniff this one. Again, this came a couple days ago. And I opened it um, right away when I got it. And then I was just busy with work, kids, all that kind of stuff. And then my oldest, my 12-year-old, had to have oral surgery yesterday morning. And although... Mama was at work. Dad took him, and I just needed to take care of him and stuff when I got home. He ended up having three teeth extracted, like this ginormous molar, whatever. It's, you know, time for braces, and he's got an expander in, which is somewhat painful when they first place it, but they had to take that out in order to get to the teeth to get to the teeth and whatever. He has been such a champ. This kid has not complained once, but I just wanted to, I was going to film the video yesterday, but I just wanted to kind of baby him and be with him and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, sorry for my rant. I'm really going to start talking about the wax now. Okay, so Forbidden City from Hayden Rowe. It is described as delicate florals, warm stone fruit, citrus, and I'm not going to say this right, but it's some type of tea. It's C-E-Y-L-O-N. Is that Ceylon? Ceylon? This smells really good, and it's so cute. Super cute, adorable little duck. Love it. So that is going to be fantastic for my bedroom. Um, this, which is over-the-top generous, this is from Zape, and this is Laundry Day in 
Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. See, I never am anywhere with, I have good lighting. I, I don't, I don't know why, but this is described as clean linen and sweet pea and cut grass, which, oh my God, I love me some grass scents. So look at this. This is like a ginormous, ginormous, ginormous piece of a loaf. So this is like 422 melts right here. And this smells so good. I'm, I'm going to hear me say that a lot and how I can't wait to melt this, but I can't. Again, something that I probably never would pick out, but just unbelievable. So delicious. Okay, we got to go because we're already at six minutes almost and I talked about two pieces of wax. This is from Bento Wax. I've never ordered from Bento Wax. I've never even, I don't believe, have ever tried it like in a D-stash or as a friend mail or anything. And this is called Boxes and Squares. And this is Bergamot, Eucalyptus, and Peppermint. And I love all three of those scents. Anyway, and together, oh, delicious. And how stinking cute. It's a little... It's a little sushi roll. So that, loving that. From, now this I have tried from Hayden Rowe. And I think I had ordered it because of Sasha talking about it. And it's kitchen towel. And I absolutely, oh my God, I love this scent. Oh my gosh, just, it's just so like crisp and nice. But I'm not, ugh, seriously, I can't talk about every single one. So there's that. I love that. From Two Chicks and a Wick. This is, um, did I say that right? Two Chicks and a Wick? Yes. This is Lazy Lady. And this is Lavender Chamomile and Cotton Candy. So good. Just, it comes across as like a really beautiful, clean scent. This is Cabana from Hayden Rowe. I don't think I've tried that. Again, a really nice, clean, clean scent. This, I'm blind, and I can't see who the vendor is, and I really should have taken the time to take out a magnifying glass, but I just wanted to be able to film this. But this is um, Peppermint Salty Sea Air Type in Barbershop 1920s. This is off the hook. Unreal. Oh, my God. Huge pie slice. Right? I absolutely love peppermint. Oh my God, this, do I wait and melt this? Like in December, or do I melt it now? Like every single thing, I'm like, I wanna melt this now, I wanna melt this now. But I don't know who that vendor is. Can you guys see that? It's probably super obvious to people. I can't see. Oh my God, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's not familiar to me. Another one from Hayden Rowe that, I, here we go again. I'm super excited to melt. And I never even saw this one or heard of it. It's Woolen Mittens. Oh my God, this is so good. And there's like a pine. Oh my God, evergreen type of scent to this. In a scent shot cup. Oh, heaven. I gotta get moving. I'm sorry. If you guys have questions about any of these or want a scent, blah, 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 want a scent description, just leave that in the comments down below and I will look things up and get scent descriptions. I just, I just wanted to, like I said, never mind. I should just don't even talk. From Satin Susie, this is Cotton Fresh. There I go, sniffing stuff. Oh, God. This is a delicious laundry. Scent. Oh, God. Uh, from L3. This is Wendy Bird. And I did look this one up. But, of course, I don't remember what it was. And it's so familiar to me. It's like a delicious fresh strawberry and something. I could be totally way off. I apologize. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, beach Towels from Zape. Never tried that. This is Beach Linen from Hayden Rowe. You know, Sasha, she has got it going on with her fresh and laundry scents. And she just shared that love all over the place with me. And I 
so appreciate it. This is called Therapy. This is from Zape, and this is Suntan Lotion. Exotic, sorry, Exotic Blooms, Tropical Berries, and Beach Waves. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. This is so, so good. I have, I'm going to be like, my house is going to smell like I cleaned it every day with these wonderful scents. This is Champagne from Hayden Rowe, which, did I try Champagne? I tried something maybe with Champagne, or I have something with Champagne. Um, this is Baja Cactus Blossom. Really good. This is Christmas Clouds from Hayden Rowe. Smells so good. This is Uncle Uncle AC or Uncle Ack. Um, oh, it's, there's even a little description here. Okay, I'll read that. Smoky tobacco leaves and cherry wood, followed by sweet honey and vanilla. I never have had a tobacco scent, but this. Uh, this is so good. I had an uncle. Well, I have an uncle. I didn't have. He's still here. Um, and he used to smoke like tobacco. Uh, smoke tobacco. Smoke a pipe with like delicious cherry tobacco in it. Like at Thanksgiving time and stuff. And oh, that's what this smells like. It smells so good. I don't know why tobacco is something I stay away from. I don't know. I'm crazy. All right. From Swanky. This is Clean Breezy. No. Clean Breeze. Look at that beautiful angel. So, so good. Oh, my God, Sasha. I'm just like, I don't even know. I'm overwhelmed with all this. Your generosity and kindness and friendship and damn, girl. Okay. So, this is from a custom that she must have done. And this is uh, lemon lime soda, lemonade, and lemon. So, just delicious lemon goodness, as you can imagine. So... There's that. This is from Scripted Sense. This is Cool Spring. I remember her talking about this vendor on her channel kind of recently, and she really raved about the scents from there. So I'm really looking forward to this. And then they have like scriptures. So that's cool. This is from a crafty barista, and this is Blackberry Italian Soda. It says Blackberry Fizzy Pop, and yes, that is exactly what it smells like, and it smells delicious. Hayden Rowe, Fresh Air. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, I had a Fresh Air from somebody else. Well, not from somebody else. It was from Walmart, let's be real. And I was having my kids pick out a scent for their bedrooms and for the upstairs, and that was, you know, I don't let them have, I picked out like six cents from them to choose from because then they'd they'd spend seven hours trying to pick out a scent. And I had fresh air for one of them. And my kids are like, fresh air? What does that smell like? Nothing? And I'm like, no, you guys, smell. And they're like, oh. Anyway, fresh air. It smells so good. Hayden Rowe, did I say that? It smells amazing. Okay, I, we gotta get going. King's Cross. This is from Hayden Rowe, and this is like her black label. <coughs> Excuse me. Adorable pink duck. It doesn't get much better than that. Zen Garden from Hayden Rowe. This smells so stinking good. Cannot wait to melt that. Oh, Lord. Okay, from the Bathing Garden, this is. Lady of Winter. I do not know what the scent notes are, and it's she has it packed so nicely, and I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm gonna guess that it has maybe some peppermint. Okay, I'll take it out and smell it. Yeah, like an icy mint. Look how gorgeous that is. Super, super pretty. The Bathing Garden was one of the first vendors that I ever ordered from, and I was in a different house at the time, and it was a one level. And I never got a throw from the stuff. And then when I would hover over my warmer, everything smelled the same to me from the bathing garden. I think it was my house. So I'm super excited to, to try um, the bathing garden again. This is from Golden Willow Waxes. I've never ordered from here. 
This smells really good. This is strawberry, peaches, apricot, and berries jam. Oh, God. So good. That's strawberry. It reminds me of something that's in there. Awesome. This is from uh, Hayden Row. Is it Cohiba? Cohiba? Is that how you pronounce that? I think so. Oh, that's good. Oh my God, okay. Moving on, moving on, moving on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go. From Pink Mermaid. I have been lucky enough to try a couple things from Pink Mermaid. From uh, like D-stashes. Uh, they've been sent as like, uh, like a freebies in a D-stash. Or I should say D-stashes. This is so good. And again, this is something I would never, ever... Pick. I just wouldn't. It's called Head Shop. So you think like incense. I always think of when I hear Head Shop, I always think of weed, but it doesn't smell like weed. <laughs> and it's like a nice kind of incense. Oh my God, that's really nice. Thank you so much, Sasha, because totally out of my, my element here with this. This is Olive Branch, which I absolutely love. I've never had one from a vendor that I have not liked. So this is from Tiffany Candle. I'm sure that will be no exception. From Butterfly, blah, Butterfly Lean Scents. This is Peppermint, Eucalyptus, and Spearmint. I'm going to love on this. Mm. So delicious. Can't wait for that one. This is Lemon Wood from Hayden Row. Lemon Wood. Oh, that's nice. All right. I got to stop sniffing. I got to stop sniffing. Like I said, if you have questions about scents, please, I have no problem. I feel like because I'm showing you all this um, and you want a scent description, I at least owe that to you for taking the time out of your busy lives to watch this. So I should tell you what things, what the scent descriptions are. Another one from scent, from Scripted Scents is Rain Barrel. And that is really nice. Are these? I'm going to just look at the shape of this. Sorry, because I don't remember. Yeah, look at that. It's like a, it's a rabbit's face. How freaking cute, right? Oh, that smells good. Laundry. Like laundry when you're taking it from the washing machine to put it into the dryer. Oh, that smells good. Mm. Oh, my God. Be like my melting basket for like three months probably <laughs> oh my god okay this is from i don't know i'm gonna say i'm gonna guess that it's from hayden rome this is pressed linen shorts and sweaters i think shorts and this is a custom pretty yellow wax from a busy tarts this is this one scares me this is lavender coconut milk um, I get scared of lavender. What can I say? But I'm gonna, I'm melting it because I need to try things and not be a scaredy cat. This is from Hayden Row. This is lavender sage, which I know I will love. I know it has lavender in it, but it's got sage, which I love sage. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is aftershave and pink sugar. Oh, that's gonna be magnificent. King of Hearts from Hayden Row. Whoops. There's that. I'm like running. Hold on, I gotta pull this thing back. Okay. We're running out of space, kids. We're running out of space. All right. From Satin Susie, this is Sea Glass. So that's pretty. Such a pretty, like, blue. Um. Oh, you know what? I. This is floral to me. Which I was surprised because when it said sea glass, I thought it was going to be like a ocean scent. I don't know why, but this smells really good. A very nice, like nice light floral. This is from, oh my God, why can't I think of the name of it? The Bathing Garden. And it is, oh God, why can't I read that? Guys, my prescription is up to date on my glasses. I think my eyes just get tired. I don't know what that says. Does that say coconut? I don't know. Something. Maybe it says cronut? Coconut? I don't know. I think it's coconut. 
coconut sugar. Oh my God, I'm probably way off. I don't know. I'm holding it up for a second. And if you can read it, you can let me know down below what it says. I just... Sometimes I just don't know what I'm reading. Okay, this is from... I don't know where. Oh yeah, this is from Diamonds State Soap. DiamondStateSoap.com. I have never heard of them. Wait a minute. Did I haven't? I'm sure Sasha's talked about them, but it's not standing out. So this is key lime and apple pie. I have to smell it again. Sorry. Yeah, this smells good. What a kind of a weird combination, right? That smells good. Yum. And that's a cute little, I don't know if that's like a flower or a little buntity bunt. That's super cute. Okay. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry. This is from Barrett's Wax Craft. Barrett Wax Crafts. And this is Coconut Cream Cigar. Stop opening and sniffing things. I know. I can't help it. Oh, that's me arguing with myself. It smells nice. This is mm, a nice creamy coconut, just like the title says. How, how about that? Okay, moving on, moving on. You guys, there's, there's still so much. Okay, this is Leather and Lace from Hayden Rowe. Whoops, that's my, there we are. Really good. Um, L3 Customs, this is Clean Lavender. Vanilla and clean cotton. This I smell. This is good. This lavender does not scare me. This one smells really good. Pretty heart. That I just showed you upside down. Oh, God. Um, this is from Mandela Melts, which I know is a Canadian vendor. What are you? This is Sweeney Todd. Mm. Love that movie. Okay. That smells really good. It's like a manly scent. It smells good, though. I say though because I'm not, it's not a cologne manly. That makes sense. All right, from Set and Susie, this is Legally Blonde. This is me right now, how I feel. All right, so this is Vanilla Champagne and Blonde Moments. This smells good. Uh, when I first got into Vendor Wax, loved Blonde Moment, and then I, that's like all I melted, like seriously. Mmm, it smells good. I had to go off of it for a while because I OD'd on it. But to me, Blonde Moment smells like a combination of Skittles and Sweet Tarts. That could just be my nose, but I do like it. I'm excited to melt it. This is from Wilma Shop, which is not the name of that anymore. It's that Smell Good Shop, but this is when it was Wilma's. This is good. This is birthday cake, if I didn't say that. This is a delicious, like, rich, buttery. Mmm, that's making my mouth water. Smelling that. That smells really good. And I don't think I have tried Wilma's uh, birthday cake. Not sure why. Okay. I can kind of feel the bottom here. We're getting there. We're getting there. From Nene's. This is what? This is vanilla... Vanilla sugar shortbread. Vanilla sugar shortbread. Um, oh, that's nice. Really smells like shortbread. Mix in with a little vanilla goodness right there. So that, that will be yum. I appreciate that. This is from the Posh Olive. I have always wanted to try the Posh Olive and never have. I'm scared of this one now. I'm not going to lie. This has zucchini bread in it. Mama don't like zucchini bread. This is called Picnic Days, and it's lemon zucchini bread. Okay. Now, I say I don't like zucchini bread. <laughs> but I've never melted it. It's because I don't like how it smells on cold. This could be really fantastic. I don't know because I won't give it a chance, but I am going to because Sasha took the time to pick this out for me and put it in a little special box a big special box for me so mm, I'm gonna try it I love lemon and it's super pretty the posh olive I really need I need to try her 
picnic days, lemon, zucchini bread. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna give it a try, and then I will be telling you guys all about my thoughts on that. This is, oh God, here we go again with my vision issues. This is lavender ice. There's that. That looks really good. I'm sorry, now I feel like I'm throwing things and hurrying. This is called Pick Me Up, and this is from Benzo Wax, and this is um, Rice Crispy, Fruit Loops, and Marshmallow. That smells good. I totally don't get like a Rice Crispy, no, I just get like a fruity, fruity fruits. And adorable, again, I guess all of her from Bento Wax, I guess it's all sushi rolls. That's like, I think that that's all that they do, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. This is, does it say Leah Street? Leah Street Barth type. Barth? Bart. Oh, my, I'm an idiot. Back up. This is Leah, Saint Barth type. God. Hello, can I not read? That smells good. Can't describe it though, but it's a nice scent. Sorry, excuse the fact that I could not read that right. Um, this is leather and lace. So she sent me another leather and lace. Yeah, two leather and lace. Excited to do that. Oh my gosh, we're getting there. We are getting there. Can you believe it? We are almost a half hour into this video with all this crazy goodness. Okay, this is from Vintage Road Candles. Again, never ordered from this vendor before. I think I've had a piece of wax or something. Um, so this is Satsuma Raspberries and Fruity Loops. That smells good. Yum. Okay, looking forward to that. That's good. Not super strong, but good. This is, oh, I'm super excited for this. This is K's Scented Melt, and this is Gingered Bergamot. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is manly, but like sexy man, not like, oh my God, you put a whole bottle of cologne on you and it's making me sick. Mm, this is really, really good. I Something I probably would not have picked, but I love bergamot and I love like gingered. Since, so I don't know what my problem is. I well, we're not even gonna go there. Um, this is from K Scented Wax again, and this is Amber Noir. This smells good. This is really good. Mm. Mm. That is going into my bedroom one of these days. Holy Lord, have mercy. Okay, I think that there's three. Let's see one. Two, three, four, and then she has the adorable packing peanuts and stuff. Not adorable. I didn't mean adorable packing peanuts. I mean, I love the, the worms. Okay, we have four left. Okay, let's see. This is Lavender Vanilla, and this is from Up North Creations. Never ordered from them. This smells good, but... Oh, I don't know. I think this is like an herbal lavender. I'm just gonna... I have to just bite the bullet. You know, I can't be... I can't be scared of it. And it's got vanilla in it, so... Even if I find the lavender to be too abrasive, that uh, vanilla should help me out. And this is Shooting Stars. I don't know who this is from. I want to guess that it's either Rose Girls... I think it is Rose Girls. I think it's um like from because it says please enjoy the sample of shooting stars. So I think it is. And this I get cantaloupe. This smells good. I like me some fruities. That's what I think that that is. If anybody knows what Shooting Stars is, please feel free to let me know. And if that is from Rose Girls, I think it is. Okay. This is from Hayden Rowe. And this is Lavender Tranquility. Oh, that smells good. 
Santa, that's like a good lavender. And I can smell the lavender. And it's, that's nice. That smells really good. And last but not least is Black Sea Barber from Hayden Rowe. I might have, um, I think I might have had this. This is really good. Mmm, yummy. So, holy crap. That was so much gorgeous, wonderful wax. I cannot wait to start melting it. I am glad that I am not buying wax currently. I'm just making sure nothing fell to the bottom. Um, because I don't need any. Oh my God, I totally missed one. This is from a Crafty Barista. This is lavender. Did I already say this one? Lavender and vanilla? Um, I don't remember. This is lavender flowers and sweet vanilla. No, because I don't know why it would have been over here if I already did it because I'm putting all of them in front of me. Hello. Um, this is really pretty. Um, this really doesn't smell lavender-ish to me, so this could be good. Mm. It definitely has something though with the with the uh, vanilla, but it's not scare it's not scaring me. So that's that. Oh my God, we are over a half hour, Sasha. You are an amazing person. You are so damn generous. I um cannot even get over this and the fantastic variety of scents that you picked out for me to share is it's warm in my heart warm in my heart I cannot wait to try this stuff and um to talk about it in my empties and I think you may have um what's the word I'm looking for I think you may have it converted me to loving um, lavenders and some manly scents and stuff uh, because I'm impressed with it on cold. So we'll see what happens when the heat hits that. Um, anyway, thank you so, so much, Sasha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you everybody for watching. Like I've already said 35 times in this video. If there's something that you want me to tell you what the scent is because I didn't in hardly anything um leave that down below in the comments and I will definitely let you know if it's something I can find um so that is everything I need to have a sip of my drink that is everything I appreciate everybody watching thank you so much have a wonderful night or maybe by the time this posts it'll be morning or when you're watching it, whatever time of day. Hope that you're having a great one and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.